Don't cry. Don't yet. No, wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, snap. Three. You need to see this. Three. Two. One. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! That was so cute. That's amazing. I'm going to start crying. Hello. That's his dad, Anthony Sr., U.S. Army Sergeant First Class, just back from Afghanistan. He came out to hand off the ball before a face-off, acting like he was a player, and well, no, 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 no surprise, Anthony. Bob knew about it, the rest of the family did, and Anthony kind of looked at his dad, looked away, and was like, oh my gosh, that's my dad. Yeah, but a great moment here put together by the, the Charlotte Hounds and a great moment for the Farmer family. Will you got, help me grab my bags? Right here. Here, they're all in here. <laughs> oh my God, Thomas! <laughs> 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 oh my God. How's it make you feel? How's that make you feel good, huh? Yeah. No, no way knows except for us right here. <laughs> this is it. How stupid. Did it just show the it wedding? Showed, like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. The wedding and stuff. Yeah, pretty much. The small little clips, because I saw it on the MTV movie award. We're gonna look at Zach's scar. I showed him mine this morning when he got home. His wasn't. Uh, mine wasn't there anymore. Hundreds of local high school seniors are preparing to graduate this week. When they do, it's likely their family and friends will be in the crowd watching. But one Mayo High School girl was pretty sure her brother wouldn't be there. You see, Sergeant Chad Clement is currently on his third tour in Iraq. But as you're about to find out, he just wasn't going to miss this very special day. For four years, Brianna Clement has spent hours in this classroom. Hours collecting the goodies and packing them up to send to local soldiers serving overseas, all as part of Operation Hometown Gratitude. My brother and uncle overseas, and I thought it, it was just really nice and important to send them packages mm -hmm. and remind them that they're still remembered and loved here. So it only seems fitting after giving so much to this project. He was all that she wanted for graduation. In this room is where her biggest graduation wish would come true. Chad! Chad! <laughs> <laughs> you said you weren't coming! <laughs> hey, I 
Ten to máme, máme jedný. It was a very good surprise. It was almost emotional for me. I had to, I had to choke it back a little bit. Planning started weeks ago. Talked to my platoon sergeant and chain of command, and I was, I admit, I was hounding them. Once he told me that he could get the lead, I knew we could pull it over on Brianna. Even on my Facebook page, everywhere it said, "Oh, I don't think I'll be able to make it and stuff," and I just kind of accepted that. I was expecting that. Incognito. Stick me here. I'm not here. I don't exist. He had to catch him a couple times because he put a message on Facebook that he's heading home. He can't wait. The countdowns. I was like, "Can't take that down." In the end, though, all that planning and all the hiding was worth it. To have them together is important. I'm very proud of her. That is fantastic. I love it. I. That was my one thing that I really wanted. Sergeant Clement gets 15 days of leave now. He says he'll spend that time with family, watching his sister graduate, and just enjoying being home. Then he'll head back to Iraq to finish out. Really a story we all love to see. A soldier reunited with his or her children after serving for months overseas. New tonight, Newswatch 7's Molly Miles has one reunion you'll see only on 7. Very anxious. Very, very anxious. Home after months deployed in Afghanistan, Sergeant Kevin Purcell had one last mission. Sitting here tapping. Oh, I think that's them. That is them. Surprised his five year old daughter Lily at her soccer game. I was gone nine months. I haven't seen her in ten. While she warmed up on the field, a covert operation was happening in the parking lot. You miss them every day, you think about them every, every day, and uh, wonder what they're doing, how they're doing. They're thinking about you. Then months of missing. Hi. Come here. <laughs> oh, God. Translated into a hug. Mm. <laughs> he will get to spend one month with his daughter before heading back to Fort Hood, then wherever the Army sends him. So until then, something that may seem little, like getting to watch his daughter play soccer. Lily, you're doing a good job. It's a big thing. A lot of people take a lot of things for granted with their families or kids. When you're in a position like mine where you don't always get that time, you high five? You take it in as much as you can. Good job out there. Because he only has so much time to catch up on the memories missed, and to start making new ones. Yeah. You want to go play? <laughs> okay, give me a kiss. In Omaha, Molly Miles, KTV News Watch 7. <laughs> Amazing story. Gets you every time. Sergeant Purcell is an infantryman in the U.S. Army. His first deployment was in Iraq. Uh, got a lovely lady here with me tonight. Uh, just wanted to let her know how much we love her with our family. She's been nothing short of a blessing and a gift to our entire family. Uh, she's a little embarrassed right now, and that's okay. Um, so, with saying that, sorry to interrupt your dinner, but I uh, wanted to give back to her a gift and uh, give her a gift of uh, her soldier, her son, uh, home from Afghanistan. Uh, and uh, so, welcome home, your son, uh, Staff Sergeant 
David Brady. <laughs>